Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Taurus. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Um, Taurus. Uh, <clears throat> somebody is um, watching, hunting for information. Um, <clears throat> maybe they have a strategy or they are uh, searching for one, trying to come up with a strategy. Uh, it looks like they're hidden. So, um, and the horse is just standing, not moving. So no action is being taken. And, um, and they are watching, uh, waiting for information. Um, they have a vision or a feeling uh, about this situation, uh, but they don't have facts to back it up. That's what they would be looking at. To uh, With the bellows being here, this is about um, uh, bringing something back to life or breathing life back into something, but effort is required uh, in order to do this. Unfortunately, these uh, this these people or this person, uh, this person has hit a mountain when it comes to the other person, you see. I feel like um, somebody had to make a choice but didn't. Uh, they didn't feel ready to make this choice. It's why, uh, it's why uh, you're, it's like the consequence this is where you've been and where you are here is the consequence of that. So the consequence of that is you're not together. Okay, because somebody wasn't ready for, uh, for ready to choose. So there could have been a third party here uh, because this could have been about a choice between uh, two people and somebody was not ready to choose and this is where the tower came in. And um, it feels like uh, one of you here, because these energies can go vice versa. This could be your energy, could be theirs. One of you feels as though your hand's tied uh, because of... Uh, uh, because of either the way that you may have responded uh, to somebody not choosing or the way somebody responded to you for not having chosen. I mean, you know, like I said, could go both ways. Um, and so... I feel like um, it, it feels like you want to heal this for sure. The, the, the world of truth is here. You're looking for a direction in order to, uh, to heal this. Both of these figures look to the past. Um, you're looking for uh, a direction when it comes to the Ace of Cups. So you may not be with this person, but... Uh, they love you or you love them and somebody is questioning uh, a situation uh, something that was told to them in the past uh, but it's like it, it was something else or it appeared to be something else which is why they got upset and why they reacted and why they're sitting here alone staring down into their cup somebody it could have something felt very challenging i mean it could feel like uh they were the wolf in sheep's clothing uh so to speak and uh maybe uh, one person felt that that wolf was uh going to cross a boundary or was crossing a boundary when it came to what was being offered that Maybe they weren't going to get what they wanted. Uh, that in the end, they weren't going to choose them. 
Um, that's a possibility. They may feel like that knight was taking advantage of them. With the wolf coming through the, the boundary you had set up. So maybe you went into uh, a conversation with this person with a certain expectation. You had all of the boundaries in place and this was how it was going to go but it didn't go that way and suddenly you felt uh you felt um uh like this person was uh going to take something from you or that they were taking advantage of you or they were going to that's how it felt in the past but uh I feel like that's you there's a recognition that you were being attacked by your fears or that you were very fearful um you were very afraid in the past uh if this was you who attacked them verbally uh, for something you thought was going on is because you did it because you were afraid you did it because of uh, old wounds, ghosts uh, that you carry, uh, things you remembered. Uh, something they said or did may have hit a trigger. And uh, what we see is that now there's a lot of regret. It's here uh, over that situation or over a decision that was taken in the past um, because now this person might feel like they overreacted and um, I feel like uh, they they may feel with that ten of wands here and and uh, the emperor, I feel like they might feel like it's out of their control or they felt it was out of their control or that they were losing control when it came to a past situation. It's like their, their fears took a hold of them, you know. This, this person doesn't want to fight anymore. Um, they have a dream, a desire, and uh, I feel like they may have been uh, procrastinating about getting this done or doing this, but I feel like somebody wants to speak a truth or extend the olive branch to someone. So what they want is to make peace with this person about this situation from the past and uh, maybe to seek more clarity about that situation. Something perhaps they should have done in the past but they didn't because with that page they would have overreacted, they would have uh, spoken impulsively and they would have done something impulsively. Uh, they were, and, and that behavior was backed up by the Nine of Swords, you know. So it was fear-driven. Uh, there was uh, a lot of open wounds uh, for, you know, either you or them. So this is about making peace, a temptation to reach out and make peace, um, trying to come up with the best possible solution uh, to do this and to see new growth. Um, this person is still very much into you. Um, very much so. Oh my, uh, Ace of Cups. Look at that. I feel like they want to, this, this is about an apology. This is about a reconciliation. Um, this is about following up on a feeling. So somebody is looking at their feelings, uh, trying to find uh, or to intuit even 
uh, the way or a way forward. So they're, they're gone within uh, to seek help um, and to ask for a sign or to seek a sign or to seek this wisdom within them. They have the wisdom because they hold the book and the hand of divine is breaking through the dark clouds, okay, um, and is pointing that out to them, that they have this information. Go within. Quiet the mind, because the mind is very, very busy here. Quiet the mind and just listen. It's what she's doing. It's what she's very focused on doing. To decide. We have the mountain, which speaks to... Um, a very uh, uh, challenging situation or the very challenging situation which is uh, in front of this person how to get around the mountain um, they made a mistake and uh, or they feel that they have um, I feel like this person is very drawn very pulled um, to go back and to speak a truth or get to the truth or get all the facts. They should have done that in the past, but they didn't. Um, so they're trying to figure out a way uh, around this obstacle. Um, the obstacle is within them, I feel. Um, it, it, it's it's those swords that are still holding or still have a hold on them. It's why they got to quiet the mind and they will see the way. They'll be shown the way uh, here. They'll be given a sign. And so um, the fastest way around the mountain is to be like the river that uh, flows naturally around it. In choosing the flow of the river, you, whoever you are, you or they, will move relatively quickly around the mountain. You must go with the flow. It's something that the mind has the, the this is what <laughs> this is the obstacle this has been blocking them from going with the flow they've been resisting it because the swords uh, told them not to basically made them afraid or created all kinds of um, false images When it comes to this very challenging uh, situation, there is uh, information coming, uh, messages uh, coming that uh, could, and this could still be the divine that could show you the way, messages that could just suddenly take you by surprise but definitely clears things up for you I kind of feel like whoever this is um, you need to take action to um, to get your answers that you're seeking here is you need to get your uh, you need to take action you will be shown the way okay 
you will receive messages that will light the way, but you must take action on them. You must not let the swords distract you. Okay? And that may not be such an easy task, but it is doable if you put the effort and if you recognize where, in fact, the swords uh, began, okay, where they come from. So that could very well be the strategy that you need to get past this mountain to remove the obstacle that stands between you and another. The strategy is to uh, not let those swords interfere and trust in the flow. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.